I know exactly what happened when that guy hit the wrong key. He's a musician. His name means praise. And he's a refined musician. You know, all the notes, you got to, he know how to read the music sheet. You listening? Huh? Yes, sir. One key hit wrong is a key that's what? Out of order. Yo, <laughs> out of order. You listening? Yes, sir. It's not making the right sound. And when something don't make the right sound, you become uncomfortable. Yes, sir. Right? That's right? So, say I came to die. Came to die. So, thank God. For all of you who shared, I could have did things differently, but could have waited till the end. But, you know, you never know how God's going to do stuff. I'm going to also, um, during the course of our services, um, when things get stirred up, I'm going to just give some of you the mic. And don't you don't have to worry. I will pull your coattail. You start saying something crazy. I got you. I have a little tension on you. I'm going to let you keep talking. You listening? You listening? But then I'm going to give you the look. Now, if, if you have any, any uh, sensing, watch the crowd when you talking. Because <laughs> they already know they're agitating the man of God. I could see it on his face. You listening? And the thing about me, I'm not shame. Because Apostle said this. I'm not here to cater to you. There's a certain amount of tension you need to feel when you are around me. That way you know you just can't go off doing your own thing. See, divine order is and is always in place in these corporate settings. You listening? Yes, sir. Pay attention. We don't disrespect apostles. We don't talk back to him. We don't tell him when it's time to cut off and all those things. Why you think he make those statements? Because somebody out there is time to go. How you know? You might be going to get yourself in an accident. You never know why things are being delayed in the surface. But you in such a what? Hurry. To go somewhere and get somewhere. This is the day now we must press into God's purpose. Amen. Notice I say press in to God's purpose. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Now, what's the time in the natural? Uh-huh. Y'all took up all of the time. <laughs> But it was worth y'all listening, huh? Okay. So let's just trust the Holy Ghost. And don't put no watch on me. Are you listening? Somebody say, we've been in camp meeting all week. I was there too. Every service. But it's one thing I am going to always be respectful I don't pay more attention to what apostles say and don't listen to what Dr. Leroy Thompson Jr. started off with. I don't just listen to Apostle Thompson and Dr. Montrell Thompson. Are you listening? Are you listening? I've shared this with you on many occasions. Apostle is training um, men in such a way any of them can move. When he speak, yes. then we had Dr. Daniel um, Robertson. We call him Bishop. You listening? But he's gone. And no sense. Of, uh, he's gone. Mm -hmm. You know, you see it in this ministry. Right. I say you see it in this ministry. Right. He's not only a big giver. He a big liver. Mm -hmm. uh, see, y'all don't want to talk. I say he's not only a big giver, he's a big liver. But let me tell you something. When it's coming, come to giving, he's not holding back. 
and you see it in Mount Gilead. Are you listening? Those business people so like they're out their minds. Are you listening? That's right. Which leads me to this point before I get started. You see, when you are a ministry that teaches strong on prosperity, individuals get this concept of stuff. We should have learned during camp meeting, stuff don't make God good. Oh, God is good before you got your stuff. You listening to me? But the most important thing to hear, we have a mission. We have a purpose. We have an assignment. So God is channeling all this money into your hand. But you want to use it for vacations. Oh, Jesus. Some people more on vacation, you listening, than they are committed to the assignment. When God gives you lump sums of money, it's not about what you want. Did you ever consult him? Lord, what you want me to do? That's why, see, y'all get upset when I say something, but I don't have to say what I say, but it's right to say it. God going to increase you in the thousands and you bring in hundreds. Talk to me up in here. That's not God. 11.5 million is in the house. I'm not looking to outside sources. God said the finances are in the house. Somebody say this small group of people. See, that's your problem. A seed, you listening, doesn't produce based on the size. Ah, uh, y'all ain't gonna like me now. Because an avocado seed is much larger than a mustard seed. But yet the mustard seed, you listening, produces a tree far larger. Why? Because it's all in obedience. Then Apostle made this statement. Montrell made some statements. Doctor, all of them made statements. So I want to say it this way. Every single one of you, commit. Commit to what? Commit yourselves to cutting back on your TV time. And I want you to put those camp meeting tapes on the rest of the year. I want you to listen to it so much your flesh get tired. Now, what do I mean by that? You listen to something over and over and over again. Your flesh almost want to say, I heard that. That's the problem. You heard. You're not hearing. Faith doesn't come by having heard. It comes by hearing. Mom Carolyn Thompson said all the time, we don't need to keep going here and going there. We need to take the time to park right here and extract all the nutrients out of what we just received. Yeah. Watch this, until we see manifestation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then if we don't have manifestation, you can have demonstration. Are you listening? And then if you can't manifest or demonstrate it, then God say, I give you the ability to create it. So you can go from manifestation to demonstration to creation. Watch this, all in the glory. Father, today I'm so thankful once again for Camp Meeting 2024. We've allowed your people, we're putting the government on their shoulders so they were able to share the things that they um, learned and were partakers of during Camp Meeting. But as Dr. Leroy Thompson Jr. shared with us, we don't uh, go to the church to get the glory. Apostles said that the glory would not stop falling when we left. He said when you get home, it'll be falling. It'll be falling in your homes. It'll be falling in your ministries. I'm expecting triple. I'm expecting everything around here to triple. Triple. Not just in money. Commitment. Submission, pursuit. Thank you for it. 
in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The glory is fallen. And there's some things that we must be properly trained in order to move from faith to the anointing, to the glory. Because there's no greater realm than the glory. You listening? Yes, sir. Because the glory is where God resides. Yes, now pay attention this morning. The purpose of the apostolic, the purpose of apostolic government is to bring us all back to God's original plan. God's original plan was to have man carry his responsibility. That's okay. You don't have to shout. That was God's original plan. Genesis 1, 26. There's no church in Genesis. Chapter number one. There's no church. There's no what? There's no church in Genesis chapter one. What we have in, see, Genesis is the seed for everything because it's the book of what? Beginnings. You listening? Yes, sir. It begins with the seed and it ends with the seed. It begins with the harvest and it ends with the harvest. The seed is the harvest. That's why when you sow it, you listening? See, you thought the harvest was the fruit. <laughs> uh, see? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. The harvest is the seed. But the seed produces the fruit. You listening? You can eat the fruit, but don't eat the seed. If you eat the seed, you're going to get rid of the process. In Genesis chapter 1 on the third day, God said he wanted us to produce after his kind. His kind. Y'all got that? His kind. Man, Genesis 1, 26 now. And God what? And God what? And God what? Somebody say see. When God speaks that seed and when God speaks the creative ability is in what God speaks. The manifesting and the demonstrating ability is in what God speaks because what God speaks is a what? Seed. Y'all ready for this? So the glory is in the seed. Are you with me? And God said, when God said, that is what? Faith. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking y'all, that's faith. That's faith. Uh-huh. The spirit of faith, 2 Corinthians 4, 13. Hurry up and get over there. We having the same spirit of what? We having the same spirit of what? Faith. See, even God talks about faith, anointing, and glory. Read. According as it is written. According as it is what? Written. I believe. I believed. Therefore have I spoken. And therefore I believed. That's past tense. Therefore have I spoken. Past tense. We also believe present moment. And therefore we speak. You listening? You listening? God wants to pull it all together. We get what we have spoken and we get what we speak. You listening? Are you listening? Because when you speak, that is the spirit of what? Faith. You're not just going around saying words though. All of us have to ask ourselves this question. Mm -hmm. Lord, why am I not accessing what you said rightfully belong to me? Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Lord, why don't I believe you? Lord, is my belief really unbelief? Lord, do I believe something more than what I say I'm believing? Or do I believe something other than what I'm telling people I believe? Do I believe in the doctor's report more than your report? Do I believe in Wall Street more than what you say? And do I believe in the governments of the world more than your government? Is my belief really unbelief? Am I the biggest seed sower but the biggest disobedient person? Am I arrogant and cocky when I give? Want to be seen. So I can receive the accolades of men versus the purpose of God. Ain't nobody saying nothing up in here. I don't know what you heard in the meeting. Y'all ready or are you going home? And God said, let us make man, make who? Man what? In our image, we found out, we already say we know, but the, in our image, who is the our? Father, uh -huh. Son, yes. and Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. These three are one. We are created in our Father's image, in the Son's image, and in the image of the Holy Ghost. And then he said, and after our what? Likeness. Images on the inside. When the image is right, the projection of likeness becomes right. Are you listening? Are you listening? Every person, not just of color, every person in America, oh Lord, every person in the whole world need to hear what Dr. Forbes taught. Whether you like it or not, whether you like him or not, that's your issue. God pulled it out of him. And he's so scholarly. You're listening. It was supernatural. You should have got delivered from being black. Because slavery has ended. But we carry the pain of slavery uh, but here comes the biggest form of slavery. It's not what they have done. It's what's in your mind about what they have done. And we have come to a new place where he whom the son sets free is truly free indeed. So my identity is not to come from being a walker. Y'all don't want to talk now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We so big on family names, but you are part of another family, a new family, God's family. And your first name is I am, and your last name is I am, and your middle name is I am. I am that I am because I am. Are you listening? The glory is in that. Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them, let them, let them. Watch, watch what just happened. God said, the dominion that we, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit possess, we're taking that dominion and we're putting it on the shoulder of man. That's right, that's right. And let them have what? Dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and over what? All the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So notice, 
it said make, now I come and say he created. Make outer. Uh huh. When God creates, he speaks. When he makes, he takes what his word created when he spoke, dry land. And when he made, that was likeness. Y'all don't want to talk. But now you move into creation. See, we too busy looking on the outside when the glory is on the inside. Oh, that's okay. You, you'll see it. Keep reading. So God created man in his own image inside. Go ahead. In the image of God. Notice it keeps saying image. It didn't say nothing about likeness. In the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them, and God did what? God blessed them. God empowered them to function as one. The glory is in the power of one. In order for us to be one, a single, whole, complete, fully developed individual in God's glory, spirit, soul, and body must be in divine alignment. Any one of them out of alignment causes dominion to be forfeited. Nobody saying amen. Y'all tired? Okay. Let's keep going. And God blessed them. And God said, again, God put the seed. Every time God says, he's planting another seed. You listening? Because the purpose of a seed is to do what? Reproduce after his own kind. And so what? Read. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful. Multiply and do what? Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. In other words, I want the earth to look like what you are seeing here in this garden of Eden where I planted you. I want you to take this model into the whole earth. I want you to take this pattern into the whole earth. Y'all ready for this? But it won't work if you just keep going on what I previously said. The most important thing is to hear God speak. Because faith never gives you the whole picture. It gives you instruction. At every turn you have to make. Every move you have to make. Y'all ready for this? Shut up is an instruction. Stop is an instruction. Trying to send somebody a subliminal message because you pissed at them is not God. Now nobody won't talk up in here. See, when you're in the realm of the spirit, you hear differently. You may say something, but what kind of paint you got on it? Nobody won't talk up in here. See, when you're a real man of God, you can't be afraid of people. Are you with me up here? We don't send apostle subliminal messages because he going to answer you. Why are you worried about me getting up and commentating behind all of the young men who preach? You just don't say that unless somebody out there carrying it. So sometime when I answer, like the tree that spoke to Jesus and say, you not eat no fruit? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, trees can speak. And you are the trees who speak. 
So sometime I have to answer you. And you know I'm talking to you. Because when I say it, it hits you. So don't throw stuff at the man of God that you don't want to get a response from. Because we deal in another realm here. Y'all with me so far? Now, so in the apostolic form of government, we are designed by God to bring you back to him, not lead you to us. But in that, there's ranks. I don't want to talk. Everybody's not on this. No, 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 no. We all one in Christ, but we all don't have the same responsibility. So now, if you want me to train you, I will. But if you want to stay in the babyhood state where there's no responsibility that you have, you love vacationing more than you love commitment. You can take off for everything else, but when camp meetings show up, oh, my work need me. Oh, I, I got to do overtime. Uh, your overtime lie. Quit hiding behind jobs. Why you not? And people get sick on Tuesday or Sunday. Or oh, your vacation happened to be the week of camp meeting. When you know it's on the schedule. God don't give a Damascus about your anniversary. No, your birthday. All God is concerned about is his purpose. And then men and women of God get accused of being too demanding. But that's why you are in the position that you're in. Because you are, you, y'all want to, can I be honest? In the kingdom, your material success means nothing to God. What does that mean? God don't, in maturity, you realize that stuff don't make you. It's all for God anyway. Can you part with the stuff? <laughs> Y'all don't want to talk. Kind of quiet. I rejoice at God's glory because God's glory includes stuff. That's why we don't have to go after it. You don't have to go after what's in the glory. Once you get in the glory, it's all on you. You listening? Okay. Take my time. So y'all see that. Then in Ephesians 4, we'll hit by these a few times and then we'll just have to drop because we've spent a lot of time. Come on. Um, Ephesians 4, we're going to begin at verse 11. See, the Bible says, wherefore, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. Notice what he said. And he gave gifts unto men. That's verse 8. Huh? Huh? He gave what? Yes. Gifts unto who? Yes. He gave gifts unto who? Yes. Now I want you to pay close attention. And verse 11 say, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers. He gave what we call five-fold ministry graces or gifts. Are you listening? Yes, sir. These are assignments and they're not glamorous. Right. Most people want to enter into these because they want the glamour, but they don't want the responsibility. God don't want you prostituting his people. Y'all kind of quiet, huh? Huh? Making whores out of them by just wanting their money. What? He said that? He surely did. 
you're here to be trained to carry the glory because you are his glory. You listening? Now, he gave these five graces, right? For, for the perfecting of the what? Maturing of who? The perfecting, the maturation. You listening? What does that mean? God wants us to become what? Fully developed. God wants us to fully grow up. God wants us to grow up into him to the place that we become him and don't need nobody else to sanction who we are. Okay. Read. For the perfecting of the saints, we learned and we should know by now that without those five graces being in divine alignment, then we cannot expect the rest to happen. That's right. Camp meetings should be packed all day, every day, Monday through Friday. People should be stand, uh, uh, pulling up the, uh, the, the, the tin roof, mm -hmm. steel roof, whatever, whatever it is, yes, just to get in. Nail me to the wall. Apostle, can I stay here till the next service? I'll pray. Some of you only want to show up for the parade night with a shirt. That's your commitment. Well, I know he's going to fuss, so I'm just going to show up for the parade night. Keep your mask and go to uh, Endymion. You listening to me, children? The parade of ministries is to show us the connectivity of all the churches that have been assigned to Apostle and the churches that he is assigned to. He loves the responsibility of raising up men and women of God. He loves it. He lives for it. And he won't let you stay in the same spot. Even if he don't tell you, he'll walk away and leave you. I love something Dr. Montrell said. I want you to experience the glory, but I don't care if you don't. See, in the apostolic, we cannot cater to you. We must challenge you to come up to where God say you belong. It's easy to blame others for your non-movement. You get frustrated because pastor don't call you on the phone, uh, pastoral. More concerned about the people. More concerned about their ills, their issues, than their growth and development. You've always heard me say this. Don't give me a fish. Teach me how to fish. I don't want to have to depend on you the rest of my life. I don't want to be retarded. That's why many houses such as this one, growth will come, growth will come when those who are connected grow. And here's one reason, uh, one way to know you're growing. How much are you sharing your faith with others and bringing them in? Are you a fisherman of men? Or you just come here to get the benefit? Huh? You come for the benefit. New house, new car, new shoes. All that stuff is not new after you wear it the first time. Look at y'all. Let God dress you. God dress you. You don't have to worry about a dress. Okay. For the perfecting of the saints, for the... So if saints are not maturing, the work of the ministry don't get done. Right? And we all say it begins with the first five being in alignment. 
That's why when you come to camp meeting, you should be doing what the Queen of Sheba did, watching how the 12 serve apostle. Before you could blink, the honor was already over half a million. Just from the 12. So if that's coming on the 12, if it starts at the head, the one we honored, and Mom Carolyn, our overseers, and it hits the 12, and all of the LTMA churches, then it should be flowing throughout the entire body. Are you listening? That's why we're here to train you, not cater to you. Essence is always before camp meeting. We'll stay out all night long for somebody who already got their money. You shaking and up now. Apostle talked about come from amongst them. You didn't hear that though, huh? Oh, no, oh, no. No, nah, he, oh, he ain't oh, nothing. Problem is, we're living in a day now where the apostolic church want to look like the world. Well, we don't seem to be able to do nothing but come to church. Oh, shut the hell up. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that more important than your commitment to God's kingdom? I don't care what you do. But when you want to go to all of that, you shut down your business to go for something else. But when it comes to camp meeting, you got to keep it open because you need the money to get things done. Well, no, you don't. You should shut your. You should shut it down so you can come shut in and get what God got for you to get. more committed to a uh, pleasure. Look at y'all. Look at me. This is about commitment and submission and connection. Apostle on acts of, hey boys, what are y'all doing? No, I need y'all to be here in one hour. Then he'll call you and turn around and say, I changed my mind. Now, y'all would be frustrated with Apostle. I'm telling you right now, half of y'all, no, 99% of y'all wouldn't make it. Because there's a demand. See, when you know how something go, you don't get frustrated with it. He needs the freedom to move in and out as God leading him, not as we tell him. See, y'all wanna, y'all wanna formulate how you want us to look, how, what you want us to do, how you want us to respond to you, what we should tell you. Oh, you going overboard, your mama. This is the apostolic children, this is not a game. Because we have to grow up for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying, without maturity, without the work getting done, then the building doesn't get built. But I'm not talking about building a natural house. See, we have been so focused on natural edifices where God is talking about, no, I'm talking about the building of my house. When you take care of my house, I'm not talking about a church building. I'm talking about the people. God is in the people building business. Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we. In my father's house, not this building, in my father's house. Or many rooms. Yes, yes. The apostolic is designed to build people to advance the kingdom. Yes. That wherever you go, the kingdom is in manifestation and demonstration and creation. Y'all with me? Okay. 
for the perfection of, perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry. The word uh, perfection, maturity, means to uh, be fully developed. You listening? What that other definition was, I told you? Having reached the most advanced stage in a process. To having reached the most advanced stage in a process. Y'all want to know, y'all want to know what entering into the glory will do? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I got so much I want to say, but I know I got, we, we got to go. All right, come on. For the perfecting of the saints, to the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the, oh, for the edifying of the body of Christ. For the edifying of the body of Christ. For the edifying of the body of Christ. That's all of us. You listening? In Galatians 4, 19. Hurry up. First one, get it, go. My little children. Of whom I travail, travail, travail in what? In birth. I'm travailing in birth. Watch this word. Again. Come on, what you waiting on, bro? Again until Christ be formed in you. Uh-huh. Read it again. My little children. Of whom I travail. Notice the phrase, in birth again until Christ be formed in you. See, one deals with, watch this. John 1, 12. Come on, hurry up. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that what? Believe on his name. Now watch this. My little children of whom I travail and birth again. You're already born again. That's the power to become. But I'm laboring that you don't just become. I'm laboring that you will learn to be led. See, when Christ is formed in you, it's because you've moved from becoming to being led. You're not a becoming son. You are a real son. Romans 18 say, for as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Y'all ready for this? You don't give away children. You give away sons. Y'all with me? Perfecting the saints, we're edifying up the body of Christ. Watch this. Until what? We all come what? In the unity of the what? In the unity of what? Now, what unity of the faith? It's the unity of the faith, watch this, of the Son of God. The unity of the faith of who? The Son of God. See, it's his faith. See, the, see, the problem um, uh, and you heard this during camp meeting. The problem with a lot of faith teaching is, you listening? You think you live by your faith. Self-effort. Oh, y'all don't like that. Self-effort. Self-effort. That's why you want to name it and claim it, but you've been naming and, uh, 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 not, uh, you've been naming and claiming, but ain't nothing to claim. Y'all get mad. Because the pursuit is not the stuff. The pursuit is him. When you get him, the glory, you get the stuff. When you go after stuff, you get frustrated. You overbuy, overspin. Oh, are y'all ready for what I just heard? And you live on a budget. You, you, you're so concerned about how it's going to come out because you hadn't gotten to the glory. When you get to the glory, it's already determined how it's coming out because you got the right backup because glory always come with silver, gold, 
The first mention of the word glory is found in Genesis 31. Genesis 31, first verse. Read. Genesis 31, verse 1. And he heard the words. And he heard the words of Laban's son. Of Laban sons saying Jacob had taken away Jacob had taken away all that was our fathers all that was our what fathers. Jacob have taken away all that was our fathers read and of that and of that which was our fathers of that which was our fathers had he gotten all this glory? Had he gotten all this what? Glory. Had he gotten all this what? Glory. See, if you don't, if you, that's why you have to give yourself, what in the world does that mean? If you would know what happened, Jacob served Laban, you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For 14 years. He was supposed to marry a woman by the name of Rachel, y'all, y'all come. Oh, what, what, what name you know? <laughs> Rachel. Yeah. But it was the custom not to give away the younger daughter without first the oldest one. Leah was cross-eyed, tender-eyed. <laughs> Jacob had his eyes set on. Rachel. They didn't have the Ritz Carlton where lights were on. When they gave you in marriage, they you in the door. Cause anybody, see, y'all ain't ready for this. See, you ain't ready for sex if you don't want to be joined in marriage to that person. Sex wasn't created as a free for all. And there's no tryouts. There's no probationary period. See how good she is or he is. Y'all kind of quiet. Now, I know y'all don't want to go here. Jacob was supposed to get Rachel, but ended up with Leah and Rachel. Uh-huh. What? Good God Almighty. Y'all ready for this? Laban tricked Jacob, and Jacob was the trickster. He was pulling tricks on everybody else, but now he got tricked. You listening? But he still was in God's plan. And so, y'all know the story, how that he told Laban, look, look, I'm going to give you all of these speckled calves. You listening? Just give me the solid brown ones. And Laban say, hell, what a deal. I'm going to get all of the speckled ones. You listening? You listening? Yes, sir. And he took all the solid ones. Hell, he ain't going to get no speckle out of that. You listening? But Jacob did something. He had them to mate before popularized. Uh -huh. See, when you are intimate with God, what you see is what you get. But you see, you've been getting Netflix and you've been getting uh, Paramount and you've been getting Peacock and you've been getting, you've been getting, yeah, all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, you've been getting Essence and you've been getting Jay-Z and Beyonce and you've been getting Bruno Mars and Celine Dion. You've been getting uh, the Isley Brothers and the Commodores and Earth, Wind and Fire. You've been filling yourself with all of that stuff intimately. God say, why aren't you intimate with me so I could fill you with vision. You full of CNN. You full of Fox News. You full of everything. You worried about what's going to happen in this country. God, Apostle already told you, you better get yourself real deep because when the storm comes, will you be ready? 
Y'all so comfortable in America, you don't even see what's happening. Nothing but a show out there in politics. Stealing your mind for a one world government. But there's no stronger government than the government of God. And I want you to understand, we're going so deep into the apostolic that you will see the days of old here where apostles and prophets will confront governmental leaders of this day and that they will bow down to the name of Jesus. A lot of, I'm going to have to stop, y'all. I'm going to have to stop. You listening? So he gave up the perfect and same work in the ministry till we all come into the unity of the faith and That's okay. Just take your time. And of the knowledge of who? And of the knowledge of who? See, the problem is, the problem is, that's who we are. When it talks about the knowledge of the Son of God, not just talking about Jesus, talking about you and me. Because we cannot produce what we're not acquainted with. Oh, y'all don't want to talk. See, it's so easy to put it off on him. God said, no, I'm talking about you. Yes. Didn't you learn in camp meeting, we all a son of men? Yes. The genealogy of Jesus Christ was traced back to Adam. So in Luke's gospel, he's presented as the son of man. Yes. But in the supernatural that we and I are familiar with, you know he didn't come from a man. God was his father. Yes. Look at y'all. But he could only take on uh, humanity by getting a flesh body from his mother. The seed went into the earth. But God is the one who sowed that seed. The first Adam was earthly. The last Adam was a quickening spirit. Look at y'all. You better read your Bible. Okay, finish daughter. Unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Christ in you. Christ being formed in you is the hope of glory. That's not a church name. That is a divine command for us to cause Christ to be formed in you, putting on you a demand for you to pursue the knowledge of Christ. Y'all with me? I'm taking my time. I paused on purpose so it can sink on you. My purpose in this life is to manifest Christ in me. Because when I manifest Christ in me, I'm manifesting as a son of God. I cannot manifest as a son until Christ is formed. Until Christ is what? Formed. In every place where you start looking at Christ, the Holy Spirit is right there. In every passage, he's right there. Because there is no Christ without the Holy Ghost. Because the word Christ means the anointed one and his anointed ones. There is no anointing without the Holy Ghost. Y'all ready for this? But the Holy Ghost wants to take us into the glory. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Why you can't stop at faith in the anointing. Y'all with me so far? Yes, Am I helping you? Yes, Am I growing you up? Yes, sir. Okay, now uh, keep reading. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every what? All right, the apostolic is designed to root you in the established order of God. The established order of God is to bring us back to God's original plan where man carries out his responsibility in the earth realm as being little gods. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. I'll put it all together. Keep reading. 
Keep reading. Tossed to and fro uh -huh. and carried about. Carried about. With every wind of doctrine. With every wind of doctrine. By the slight of men. By the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to what? Deceive. See, don't be deceived. If you're deceived, it's because you let somebody deceive you. Keep going. Oh, oh, here it comes. But speaking the truth in what? Love. See, without us speaking the truth to you in love, go ahead. You won't grow up into him. In all things. See, grace is always accompanied with truth. Grace is always accompanied with truth. Y'all got that? Okay, keep keep going. Which is the head. Ah, so we are to grow up into the head. No, you didn't. Listen, we are to grow up into the head. The five graces represent the head. And the government is upon his shoulder. Oh, y'all, that's okay. Y'all, y'all will see it in a minute. Watch what it's about to say. Verse sixteen. From whom the what? From whom what? The whole body. The whole body, not just the head. Remember, I preached to you that the head got out the grave, but the body's still in it. Why? Because the body must connect. We've been preaching Christ raised. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's seated at the right hand, but we acting like he's seated and we standing up. A seated position meant the work has been finished. Jesus said, I finished. I finished the work you gave me to do. I have completed the assignment. Now, just like I'm glorified with the glory that you gave me, I'm glorified with your glory. The glory, I came here with glory. No, I don't get, I'm not going to glory. I came here. I came here. Y'all not listening. I came here as God's glory. Look at y'all. You don't believe it. You still trying to get. You can't get what you already are. I got so much stuff to teach y'all. I, I know I got to stop. What time it is? Okay. All right. All right. Y'all just have to get the rest. I could go on. But listen, listen, listen. Glory. Glory is who I am. How do I know that? How do I know that? Because, because, y'all tired, huh? I feel it. Y'all don't want it. See, when you want it, you be like, you know what, man of God? I really want this. I, I know you're in that flow. I wish you wouldn't have let them all testify, then we could have been out of here. <laughs> But, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a good, look, the whole body fitly joined together. The whole body fitly joined together, right? The what? The whole body. Fitly what? Joined together. Could you imagine somebody walking with a head over here, just in the air by itself, right? And the neck down <laughs> over here. Huh? And they walking down the street. And the head turned that away. You listening? And the body go this way. Have mercy. Now, remember that the purpose of the apostolic is to have the government on his shoulder. Y'all ready for this? You never saw it, huh? That, that Jesus is the head of the church. And we are his body. And so the government is on our shoulders. The apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher is on the, the head. The body is designed 
through their alignment and training huh, to cause the whole body to come together. That everybody is carrying out their assignment. Everybody, every joint. All right, go ahead, read it. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in what? The measure of every part maketh increase of the body, make it increase of the body to the what? Edifying of itself in love. That sounds to me like God wants the whole body working together. The whole body. So you shouldn't have to be wearing Chantel out. Calling her for every God deed thing when she trying to rest. Do you know what it's like to work for Apostle Thompson? She don't work for me. She work for dad first. I'm, I'm next in line. It's okay. She does so much for me, but I know. See, see, I'm daddy. Now watch what I'm about to show you. That's Apostle. Daddy may get a look back or some word strong back, but Apostle, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Jump! Okay, hi, hi. I'm just kidding. She served me just like she served Apostle. She's always on the front line. But you will kill her if you don't take your spot. Why you got to call her for little stupid stuff? Spend your money, we'll reimburse you. Ain't nobody won't take nothing from you. You know, some people, you listening? Some people owe you money and you tell them go get something and they got their hand out looking for their money. But they forget they owe you. Are you listening? Isn't that something? But every time you, uh, you tell them to go get something, they come. You can tell they don't leave until you put the money back in the hand. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. We all got relatives like that. Forget Forget-itis. All right, one more thing, then I'll show you this, then we'll go. Okay, we'll have to come back. We're not gonna get out the glory because the glory is still falling. All right, now I showed you in Genesis that the glory was connected to stuff, right? Right, huh? Did I finish that where y'all understood that um, Jacob's um, cattle came out speckled you listening? So he got to take the ones who produced. You listening? Yes, sir. And, and all, 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 he had so much. He left with everything. You listening? Every single one came out, was spotted and speckled. You listening? Yes, sir. Every single one came out. Laban thought they were all coming out solid. But in the glory, they come out yes. like God said. Because yes. when something supernatural happens, it's what's going on behind, yes. not without. Yes. See, he saw they will all come out solid. Jacob said, you don't know about the glory. <laughs> you listening? Okay. Now, I'm not going to read this. Um, I'll give you these two references. Um, Hebrews 2, 6 through 14, and Psalms 8. Now, this is what I want you to see. Because we did not understand glory. Because we what? We did not understand glory. God said, I need to show you glory. And I'm trying not to go there, but y'all know I'm getting a signal, right? On, Genesis 2, I mean, uh, Hebrews 2, 6, we're going to read it and stop at a certain point. Hurry up. But one in a certain, but one in a certain place testified, testified saying, what is, man? what is who? Man. What is who? Man. What is man that thou art what? That, that thou art mindful of him. 
uh, God, why is your mind so full of man? Read. Or the son of man, son of man that, that you visitest him. God wants to visit you. Read. Thou madest man a little lower than the angels. Oh, and you crown man with glory and you crown man with honor. And you did set man over the work of your hands. Say government. government. Not the church, man. In Luke chapter four, you will find out that it was man who turned over his government to Satan. Don't blame the devil. You gave him the power. Go ahead. Thou hast put all things, Thou hast put all things in subjection, in subjection under, his feet. under man's feet. feet. Under man's feet. feet. Under man's feet. We're talking about Genesis 3.15 and we're talking about when he hung on the cross, say it finished. You get the references. The seed of the woman going to crush your head. The seed of the woman going to uh, issue the death blow to you, Satan. You listening? The seed of the woman going to hang on a tree and die that through death he going to crush your head. Y'all yes. got it? Okay, keep reading. Thou hast put all things, Thou hast put all things in, subjection in subjection unto him. For in that, For in that he, put all in he put all in subjection unto him. Under man, he left nothing, he left nothing that not under that's man. not put under man. But now we see, but now we see not, yet all things, not yet all things that's put under man. But we see Jesus. Oh, but we see who? Jesus. Now watch this. Je watch this. Acts 2.22. Say, watch this. Turn to it. You just need to quickly hurry up. Hurry up. I know I could quote it. Israel. You men of Israel, hear these, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, of Nazareth. Of Nazareth. A, man of God. a man approved of God among, among you. A man approved of God among you. That's all I wanted you to see. We can get to the miracle signs and wonders which he did, you know, among you. Yeah, we'll get to that next week. But I wanted you to see that phrase. Jesus of Nazareth, a man. In Hebrews 2, he crowned man with glory and with honor, yeah. and he put all things yeah. on the man's feet. Uh -huh. Everything is subject to man, yeah. but man don't understand what's subject to him. So now I got to bring him back to his original position. Yeah. So I must show you Jesus, yeah. who has made a little lower than the angels yeah. for the suffering of death. He was crowned with what? Glory he was crowned with what? Glory, Glory and with what? Honor. honor. Read. That he, that he by, the by the grace of God, taste should taste death for what? Every man. Every man. See, because we didn't know what was put upon us, God said, let me show you, you, Jesus. Y'all yeah. didn't catch it. Let me show you, you, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I told you, J-E-S-U-S. You are included. Jesus. Jesus. No, y'all didn't catch it. I didn't say Jeep us. I say Jesus. Just because you get Jesus. Jesus. And we were included in that Jesus. You listening? We need to see Jesus. Hallelujah. When we see Jesus, a man, then we see ourselves as men yeah. and women crowned with glory and honor and knowing that everything under our feet because we are full of the glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But in order to glor be glorified, we got to die. In order to be glorified, I have to what? Die. Die. Now, I'm not going to go no further. But all that you need is in the glory. Once you get into the glory, you have gotten you out the way. 
you have fulfilled St. John 3.27, St. John 3.30, and St. John 3.34. Now, I'm going to stop here just because, but we're going to have to take you to where you understand that you are God's glory and the government is on your shoulder. You listening? You don't have to wait for no apostle, prophet, evangelist, or teacher to live this life for you. They are training you to live it for yourself. You listening? Y'all ready for this? That don't mean you can do without them. That also don't mean you can go around them. That also mean you can't despise them. Are you listening? All right, come on, children. Um, um, Two up here. Good morning, family. Let's praise God for that message. You can pass out the offering envelopes, please. And when y'all finish, stand up. I decree that your finances will triple. That's what Apostle said. Your finances will triple. Your finances will triple. You didn't shout because you, you don't believe it. You, you just, you just, you stepped out of the glory to say, how can this be? Instead of just saying, the apostle said, my finances would triple in the glory. By the time I get to prosperity, I've been and paid off everything. And I know not how. Because where the glory is, the silver and the gold is, and the glory is falling. I wanted to make this statement. I'll make it now. The glory is not when you come to church. The glory is everywhere you go. Because if you are God's glory, you're a carrier of God's glory because God's glory is also in his presence. But I found out about carrying the glory, you got to die. Die to you. Which you think is important. Go ahead, son. All right, y'all ready to do the well confession? No, we're not doing all that today. Just received the offer. Just received the offer. Let's pray over the offer and pick it up. I thank you, God, for Cammy last week. Thank you so much for our connection. Thank you for the conviction that we left with because it's going to change who we are. I thank you for the glory that's falling, God. And I thank you for these seeds. And I thank you that our finances are tripling, the income and the ministry is tripling, and our commitment is tripling as well. And I thank you so much for who you are to us, God. Amen. Amen. Received the offering. Everybody standing. <laughs> Look at Joe. Say, what are you doing? I'm doing what I'm. Uh, nobody talking. Nobody saying nothing. I gave you space for camp meeting. You got it. Easy money coming. I like that. Say that. Easy money coming. Say it. Easy money. Easy money. Say it. Easy money. Say easy money. Easy money. Coming. What kind of money? Easy money coming. I pronounce that on all of you. Easy money coming. Say the money just keep on coming. 
because I'm functioning in the glory. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. I decree kingdom wealth on you. Glory wealth. Glory wisdom. You will function in glory wisdom. Don't make moves. Check with the Holy Ghost. Do I need this stuff right now? Oh, I'm just getting this because I want somebody to look at me. Every move you make, every step you take, you're in the glory. Come on, children, grab. Where they at, Robert? Y'all grab all this, all this stuff. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Well, give yourselves a hug. And uh, uh, I'm going to blame y'all for us being out this time. Because y'all won't put it on me all the time. Y'all took up all the time. Y'all won't sing and all y'all won't testify. Amen. But you did a good job. So come Tuesday with great expectation. Expect the glory to be in your house all the days of your life. Amen. All right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Come on. Lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I decree and declare that your people are carriers of your glory. They are your glory. And you said where the glory is, there's gold, there's silver. Where the glory is, there's splendor, there's majesty. Where the glory is, the enemy can't stay. Because the glory represents your manifested, visible presence. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former house. Y'all got that? Yes, Say the glory, the glory of the latter house. The latter house. That's, me, That's me. Is greater, greater than the former house. Y'all got it? Yes, Y'all got it? Yes, All right. Live it, walk in it. Thank you. You're dismissed. Thank you. Glory to God.